Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, just oh, kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. What up, and welcome back to Boring Reviews. Jody here. Nick here. And today we are reacting to another comedian, Sarah Milliken. Nick, what are we reacting to? Jody, we are checking out Trip to the Spa. I've never once been to the spa as far as a massage place before. Don't really have too much interest in it, but it's probably because of my fear of the unknown because everyone I know, including this one right here, tells me how fantastic it is to go to the spa. But from what people say, it just seems like a kind of uncomfortable situation. I know not every time you're stripping naked and you got like a little tablecloth or loincloth covering your you-know-whats, but to me, that's just not my type of situation. No, no, no. You, you do get undressed, but you have a whole sheet. And they leave oh, you, sheet. and it's dim, and there's like this piece And then of like music. you stick your head on a toilet bowl, basically, with some cushion on it. But then you like lay down, and like the sheet's on your back and whatnot, and they'll just fold it down as they're working on your back. So, but it just feels so good. They, they massage your back, your legs. It's just relaxing. It just makes me think of that Friends episode with Monica. Oh, where she has like no. the orgasm no. sounds and she's like doing it. And it's like, nope. No. Can't okay. massage. Yeah, that's weird. But I'm excited to see what Sarah yeah. Milliken has to say about it. We've reacted to several of her videos, probably half a dozen. Check them out if you're interested in them. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload videos. We've hit it to 80,000, woo woo, but we really want to get to 100,000. Please help us get there before summer, because then we can do something fun in England. Or she will take away my TV. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I went for a massage. Give us a cheer if you've ever been for a massage. Massage. I like the bit at the end where I feel all floppy and relaxed. That bit where I'm like, I might never wear a bra again. <laughs> I don't like the actual activity itself. I feel very uncomfortable being in front of a stranger just in my pants. So what happens is I book the massage. I get so stressed and tense on the build up to the massage that the best she can do at the massage is get me back down to the level of stress I was at <laughs> before. before I booked the massage. That's awesome. <laughs> doing those appointments that I don't like is when they teach you how to breathe. They do that, don't they? Like, I'm 41. The breathing's been going pretty well, thanks. <laughs> I've and never they had that. They go, and breathe in. <sighs> and breathe out. And breathe out. I could have died. I could have died. <laughs> I waited for her. The last massage I had, she said, this is an aromatherapy massage. I said, that's correct. She said, I've got three different oils. I want you to smell each one. Pick the one you like the best and we'll use that one. I said, champion. She unscrewed the lid off the first one. She wafted it in front of my nose. I said, is that eucalyptus? Eucalyptus, is it? Eucalyptus, like a menthol, like a menthol? Is it menthol? Is it menthol? Is it menthol? Is it menthol? Like a mint? Is it mint? Is it mint? Is it mint? Is it mint? She said, you don't have to guess what it is. <laughs> Second one, she wafted it in front of my nose. I said, is that lemon? Is it lemon? Is it lemon? Is it lemon? Is it like a citrus? Like a citrus? Like a citrus? Oh, like a citrus? Like a citrus? Like a general sort of citrus? Is it grapefruit? Is it grapefruit? She said, it's not a quiz. <laughs> Third one, she wafted it in front of my nose. I did like it, but I didn't know what it was. And I said, I'll have that one. She said, good. She read the label on the bottle. She said, that's happy. And I thought, no, I was never going to win the quiz, was I? <laughs> Now, my worst bit of a massage is a bit in a full body massage where they make you turn over on the table because the tables are very narrow and I am not. <laughs> they do need to the towel up, don't they, so you can flubber, flubber, flubber yeah. over in your hands. Oh, so fun. The last one I had, she held the towel up, I flubber, flubber, flubbered over. I was almost in position when our eyes locked in the mirrored wall at the end of the room. <laughs> My friend said to me, that's not my worst bit of a massage. I said, what's your worst bit? She said, I don't like the bit where they pull your knickers down a little bit. I said, well, they'd have to do that with me, otherwise they wouldn't get half me back. <laughs> <laughs> but I went for a massage with a friend of mine, and we were in the waiting area, and the woman came out and she said, ladies, 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 just to let you know that on staff today we have a male massage therapist, and I was wondering if either of you would mind, and my friend went, I'll have them. No. <laughs> I said, look, you're single, you can always have the bloke if you want, but just let her finish her question first. <laughs> Maybe leave it a second and then say, I suppose I don't mind, rather than I'll have her. <laughs> she came out of this massage with this huge beaming smile on her face. I said, was it a good massage? She said, oh, yeah. I said, that's good. 
She said, I felt his erection. No. And we take turns to pay, and it was my turn. I thought, I'm not paying if it was on extras. <laughs> but you felt his erection, she said, yes, on me elbow. Now, I don't know what your elbows are like, but mine is like rhino skin. <laughs> I think I'd push to tell hot from cold with mine. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an excellent game show, wouldn't it? Cock or not, cock or not. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I don't like, and this might come across overly mean, I hope it doesn't, but it might come across that way. I don't like a skinny massage therapist. The one I use at the moment is about my size, maybe a little bit bigger. I don't like the skinny ones. They've never said anything to me. But in my mind, when they're massaging me, they're doing this. <laughs> 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 Nope, 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 nope. That's messed up. That's so messed up. How long does a massage last? Okay. I've never had a male. That sounds ridiculous. Um, 30 minutes to an hour, typically an hour. What are they doing for an hour? I mean, how many massage? times can you massage the oh, back? Okay, for no, for me, they work on my knots right here, and they usually spend the entire time and they'll I'll do like a deep tissue. So they're like elbowing me, like and they're like, oh my gosh, this knot won't come out. How long have you had it? And I'm like, all my life. Because <laughs> of all my stress. And that's supposed to entice me to get a massage. But then it like slowly like helps it to feel better. You don't have to get deep ones. I just get deep ones. I'm like, kill me to get my knots. And it doesn't hurt? Oh yeah, it does, but like <laughs> Oh yeah, of course but it does. But it feels good at the same time. But it's, it's like so it fantastic. Good. You I like the pain, like get it out. I love what she said. She's like, gonna need more time on this one. <laughs> Surface area. <laughs> and the whole time I've been massaged, there's an inner monologue going on up here. Outside, I'm the picture of composure, but in here, it's going crazy. And it depends on where she starts. So if she starts at the bottom, I'll be like, oh, tickly feet, tickly feet, tickly. Oh, she's gone up to the bit. I've got broken veins. I don't like that bit. Oh, too close to me, funny, too close to me, funny, too close to me, funny. <laughs> so I'm lying there. Covered in happy. <laughs> Very different version of Snow White than we're used to, yes? <laughs> That's awesome. And the massage ends. And she did what they always do. She, they, she put on like a chocolatey voice. They always do this one. And she said, just relax. There's plenty of time. There's no need for you to rush. Please just stay relaxed. There's so much time. Just want you to stay relaxed. There's no need for you to... Please just... Stay relaxed. What she didn't know is that I've been dying for a fart for 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the door barely clicked shut when I let out the loudest, most tromboniest <laughs> fart you've ever heard in your life. Yes. Remember, I was covered in oil. A bubble? Like the Salvation Army bandit popped in. And I'm right in the middle of potentially the best fart <laughs> of my life. <laughs> when she came back in with a glass of water. <laughs> Is it curry? 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 Oh, man. And if she had, I'd go, no, love, that's happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, uh, that's hilarious. Oh, I can oh, relate gosh, to that nice. in so many ways. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I have to say, like, usually, if you know me, I oh, no. pee all the time. And so for me, it's not like a fart, but it's like, I have got to pee so bad. Like, I need you to leave so I can get dressed and go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I just need to go potty. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> that is so awesome. Like, just relax. It's good. Do you really want me to be relaxed? Because I will relax. And then it'll be like, oh. He <laughs> farted in my, in my room. Uh, Zachary, no, that's happy. I, you know, oh, don't even get me started on the topic of fart. I'm so you're glad gonna, You're going to say that. that every now, every time now, huh? You're going to be like, Jody, did you hear that <laughs> happiness? Is that, is that Curry? No, that's happy. It's absolutely happy. Like, oh, I've been holding that sucker in for 45 minutes. <laughs> I mean, the problem, though, is... If you, if you don't hold it in, there's going to be another one right behind it. So it can't be like non-ending line. Oh, man. I absolutely well, loved it. Hilarious. She's fantastic at telling stories, too. I like how all yes. of the comedians we've been reacting to lately oh, too tell good. us these beautiful stories that just keep you laughing. You're there in that moment with them. You're relating to what they're saying. You're feeling their pain. Like You're like, yep, 
Yep, it's awesome. It's amazing to me, like, how there's just so many talented comedians in one part of the world, for crying out loud. I mean, I, I don't know how we found ourselves down this rabbit hole from when we started this channel, but I absolutely love it. Keep it coming. Give us the request. Let us know what else you want us to react to. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye.